that's not going yet. When did you quit smoking? I'm assuming you quit smoking. I did. I quit smoking. I just celebrated two years on April the 28th. That's great. And how much did you use to smoke? About a pack a day. And did you quit cold turkey? Yeah. So no patches? Nothing. Awesome. That's no, I had, I had my daughter as motivation. I was just recently divorced, moved into my new house as sort of the single dad. Mm -hmm. And I've been wanting to quit for a long time. And it was one of those things where, you know what, I'm moving into a new house. Might as well start from a clean slate. And I'm starting a new life, obviously being divorced. So I quit two days before I moved in and I haven't picked up wow. a cigarette since. That's great. Yeah. That's amazing. How, how was that first week when you quit smoking? It wasn't as bad as I thought. I think moving really was... Uh, so huge help. <laughs> well, that and you have so much stuff to do, right? Okay. So I kept my mind and myself occupied by doing stuff around the house, you know, getting out, being active with my daughter, taking her on nature walks. You know, mm -hmm. we had a, a play structure in the backyard, basically open our gate in the place. My daughter used to call it her play structure. Dad, let's go to my play structure. <laughs> Some kids are playing on my play structure. So we went out, did that kind of thing. But I just kept myself busy and my girlfriend is a non-smoker and, uh, you know, almost a militant non-smoker. Yeah. So there's not a hope in hell I'll ever smoke again, awesome. which is great. And you need support. My ex was a smoker. Okay. I had quit for a year and a half at one point and I just got caught up in it again, you know. That's awesome. Um, now the association with smoking, for example, you usually have a cigarette with coffee. You still yeah. drink coffee? Yeah, I still drink coffee. Not nearly as much. Okay. It was almost have coffee because want cigarettes yeah. and the combination, right? So I have two cups a day probably on average. Okay, and alcohol is another association? Uh, yeah, I still, I enjoy beer, I enjoy wine. We just came back from Prince Edward County. We did the wine tours. I think we arrived back in Ottawa with about 30 bottles of wine. Mm. So I enjoy a glass of wine and, and beer, that's for sure. People don't understand, when you go to a wine tasting, you're actually supposed to spit the wine out. No, 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 I don't does. think so. Is that <laughs> really? Is yeah. that the case? Is yeah. that how it works? Yeah, it's supposed to like garbage. Well, who taste knew? It, smell it, and then <laughs> poof. Then we can have taste another one. But everybody right. just actually keeps drinking. Well, it's true. It's true. But the nice thing about a lot of the wineries is, uh, well, they charge you for a tasting unless you buy a certain amount of bottles. And the reason they do that is because I guess early on they realized people were just doing the tour mm. and just pounding yeah. back wine. Exactly. Exactly. And then they're liable, yeah. so they have to protect themselves, right? Okay. Uh, so how much do you drink per week now? Um, I don't know, about uh, about a dozen beers, a few glasses of wine. Oh, seriously? Yeah, about a dozen beers. Seriously? Yeah. Summer and winter? Like, uh, no, probably more in the summer. Probably okay. less in the winter. You like your beer? I enjoy I enjoy a beer. Yeah. You prefer beer or wine? I prefer beer, but Me too. Uh, okay. Getting a taste for wine over the last couple of years. Great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See your excitement. Yeah, like, yeah, that's wonderful. You yeah. it'd be I quit smoking yeah. and became an alcoholic. Yeah. Right? No, no. <laughs> You're not part of the Scotch club to know about. No, no. I had some last night, but that was at a special occasion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So this we have to work with. Okay. Uh, Because you're tight up there. Okay. That's the only reason. You have actually a ligament that goes right here, and if this 
this is tight, this is pulling on. Okay. There. So as long as this gets loosened up, it gets released. We're good. All right. Okay. Yeah, I did. I did some. Uh... There, you need some massage. Are you getting massages? Um, not frequently, but I have started uh, at the Beechwood Chiropractic. Massage, not chiropractic. That's right. Okay, and she's an RMT. I'm assuming it's a she or he? No, Ryan. It's Ryan? A, yeah. And he's an RMT? Yeah. Good. Does he go deep? Yes. Is it painful? It is. Good. <laughs> good. <laughs> You're a masochist. That's not good. Okay. Um, headaches? Never. Hardly ever. Awesome. Get a headache. It's very rare that I get a headache. Okay. Uh, feel faint or dizzy? Very rare. Okay. Uh, any prescription drugs? Nope. Nothing? Nope. Perfect. No. Uh, the most I take, I think, is Imodium. Imodium. Uh, that's for diarrhea? Yeah. Okay. Probably too much of it, but when you're born without a sphincter, George, uh, it's like Smarties, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? What about probiotics? Um, I haven't taken them enough. I do eat really well. Okay. But I could use more. I take vitamins, but I don't take probiotics. So how often do you take Imodium? Um, I was taking them rather frequently, probably a couple a day. Um, I got a, a slap on the wrist, <laughs> again, from my girlfriend, who uh, thinks that's not a good idea. It's not. It's really true. actually hard on your uh, colon. Yeah. Just fine. Yeah, my doctor has also said the same thing. Okay, so and the only reason you take it is to prevent diarrhea or when you have diarrhea? Uh, both. Both? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you something. I started uh, taking fiber pills instead of the ammonium, but that's just in the last probably...